Hey everybody, this is Ion Stuff, and today I want to show you my mini Tesla coil that I built a while ago. It's not pretty, but it works. I did not have any magnet wire, so I used what I could find. I found a spool of green wire. I believe it's 32 gauge. Here is a bipolar transistor. It's a TIP 31C with a pretty good size heatsink power switch, and I have 12 volt DC coming in. The primary is five turns, and I believe it's uh, about 18 gauge wire, copper stranded. The secondary is about 350 turns at one inch diameter. For the secondary coil, I used about nine and a half inch PVC pipe, one inch diameter. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I did here. I was experimenting for some reason. Here you see a couple of resistors in parallel and two in series connected in parallel. I think they're all 100K, if I see it correctly, and that works out to be about 40K, I think. But normally you would need maybe 5K or 4.7K at a half a watt. And then you see the diode. I will uh, draw up the schematic for you. Here's the schematic that I just completed. You see the bipolar transistor in the middle. That is a TIP uh, 31C. It's an NPN. The uh, resistor to the left, that's 4.7K half watt, I believe. I think that's the original value that's supposed to be on here. The diode, that's actually a rectifying diode, but it's an ultra fast 4007. The primary, that's five turns. Secondary is about 350 turns. So the ratio is about 1 to 70, I believe. The pinout for the TIP 31C is base collector emitter. And if you don't know, here's the location of the base, the emitter, and collector on the schematic. The primary coil is about 1 to 1 and a quarter inch from the base. What you can do is you can experiment, raise it a little higher, lower, and you can make the coil larger in diameter, but you'll need something to support it up. I'm using a jewel case for the base. I attached the secondary coil to the base with a glue gun. And on top, take the end of the coil, strip the wire, and tape it to a piece of aluminum foil with scotch tape or masking tape. Wrap it around a foam ball, tennis ball or something similar, and also glue gun it to the top of the PVC pipe. Okay, I powered up the uh, Tesla coil. I have a neon bulb. That'll help me test it out to see if the wiring is correct. And a CFL bulb. Notice the neon bulb lights up. That means it is working. If it's not working, then you want to reverse the wires of the primary coil. And then try it again. A neon bulb lights up quickly, so it's a good way to test it. Now let's take the CFL bulb, bring it close. You can see it lights up. And there you have it. This is my mini Tesla coil. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.